Okay, so this is uh, a way I use to make uh, concrete even stronger and using less concrete. Now, first and foremost, the uh, the um, rebars are curved a little bit, and this is because I am not sure if I would like to tunnel my way through. Like you see, I have a pretty tall basement here, and so when I'm going to connect this wall over here that was initially meant to keep the septic tank back, which will be moved at some point. Um, here I want to just make sure that it can hold a wall, but if I want to, I can tunnel my way through here and uh, keep that as it is. Now, how am I making this stronger with less concrete? Uh, sure, you could use more extra rebars, but I'm pretty sure what I'm having here is going to be doing it. Um, and the way I go about this is that I take the uh, granite or uh, you know, it's like a very, very hard rock intended for construction. Like any other rock I throw away. You should not just use any rock. And then I stack it purposefully. So like for example, the flat ones here, they make the edge. So see, they can actually poke out quite a bit. Sure, I will have to do some straightening and so forth. But the point here is that if they hold with no mold, they will be, my logic is that it will be very strong uh, when it hard, when the concrete hardens. My logic may be flawed, uh, if you know anything you can tell me. Um, but uh, you can see there's quite a lot of rocks that have been jammed in. Now this takes quite a lot of time. While I have saved myself concrete and only used three bags, which is uh, 25 kilos each and in dry weight that's 12 and a half liters. So that would be 38, 39 liters. Uh, of concrete and you can see here this is definitely more uh, than that but it did take a lot of time so I think this this little patch here alone is taking me for four or five hours and it's hard to tell because it's been like some other working around here um, but yeah essentially the flat rocks are placed to kind of make the edge to, to kind of stabilize it and then I have like if there are rounder rocks but not round but sort of like this one it gets uh, jammed in the middle and then the other rocks are kind of with their angles they kind of jammed in so they, they basically stack pretty well by themselves um, so like this thing is not going to go anywhere I spent more time doing it but it is definitely not it's going to be taking quite a lot of time before it goes away and uh, if uh, our neighboring country who is currently at war with a uh, not a neighbor uh, chooses to make a war with us then well if they want to blow I've been very inspired by those uh, those, uh, those footages of uh, buildings blowing up and stuff, finding it quite amazing that our modern weaponaries are that strong. A little bit terrifying for sure. But uh, that being said, if they want to be uh, trying to bomb my house, they're going to have to be wasting quite a lot of ammunition, is my thinking. So basically just uh, fill in here. I just need to fill it here to get it even. And, uh, you know, you see what I've done here. Um, there's more rocks that are cleaned. I have a bucket with water that I change every time I uh, fill, fill up new rocks. I can take rocks from here if I wanted to, or I take rock from the parking lot, which I've been taking quite a bit of as well. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, I, I puzzle and jam it in and basically do brick layers with uh, irregular angular rocks. Um, and these, uh, these I attached here today. This is to kind of help it hold together and, and make it like, due to the inclination because as you might see, it's very, very steep. Like, uh, I can barely say my legs have been shaking like every, like after I've been standing here for a while trying to, to do this. Because, I, sure, I can do something from this side, but the vast majority of the working so far has been done while I've been balancing over here and pressing my legs against uh, the walls or cavities or whatever to kind of keep myself afloat. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to... Let's see if I can get this uh, past this earthworks. So, getting this over here, I'll make a pillar here. That is to say that I'll put some rebars straight into and straight up. So, uh, whereas the rest here is not going to have any vertical rebars to uh, keep it uh, up, um, apart from the supporters on the side, uh, the, the uh, pillar here is going to have one. Because I don't know if I'm at some point going to be making a building here, an extra floor or something. And uh, connect all this and here you can see some this this went much much quicker for me uh, I don't think I spent more than 
I think this is one, two, three. I think that the one, two, three, maybe four, maybe five. But the fourth, the, the, the last one, the fourth or the fifth one, I used over there to kind of attach that rock and uh, level up the, um, the foundation a bit and uh, cover up this part where you can see the same uh, method has been applied. Uh, this was done yesterday, so it, it still needs some time to harden. Uh, and uh, so now, now what all I need to do is suspend some concrete to kind of level it out um, and uh, get these uh, rocks uh, well placed. And my uh, water, the, the thing to kind of level it out, the leveler, uh, mine has, is no, no longer accurate, so I need to get a new one before. Uh, and I tend to like to have a small one that I can make sure that it's even. So see, this one is not even, because, and I noticed that after, because th that's how I actually found out that my uh, leveler wasn't uh, accurate anymore. But I like to have it so it's ac uh, leveled on the length, but also on the width. And then, uh, you know, if I feel like me being in a hurry, then I'll just slap on and it should be pretty straight. And I'll have rebars. Not on the first one here, I didn't bother, but uh, on every second one here, I'll drill into the wall here, lay a rebar, and, uh, and uh, put a brick on top. And this is because I use concrete instead of mortar. Now, concrete is cheaper and it's also stronger. But it isn't a good thing to use on bricks that are softer. So like the rule of thumb when you're bricklaying is that the binder you're using, the mortar, should be, um, should be uh, softer than the brick itself to allow it to flex. Because even though there are rocks and stuff like that, it, they will be tugged by wind and so forth. And so if your binder, like this concrete here, is harder than the brick, which mine is, uh, then uh, you're more likely to see cracks and stuff start emerging on the on the brick itself. Now this can be ameliorated if you have a, the, uh, if you use rebars because they cost a little bit flex and they make the whole thing much much stronger. So let's say a huge bomb comes in here then the bricks are probably going to be broken a little bit of pieces but that means you know everything is probably still going to stand. Uh, especially since there are columns like in these walls here uh, that are in between. And uh, yeah, the same has been um, through all these walls here I've had on every single layer, or in this case, since there were small ones, it's like here, 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 or maybe here, because here we were having a change here due to, uh, we ran out of the bigger rocks or the nearby supplier. And so we had, we were in a rush, so we ended up having many small ones. And that's why there's a lot more texture on, uh, on this part of the wall. Uh, but yeah, the same stance is still, uh, uh, rebars in between, uh, like the same here, re two sets of rebars, 10 millimeters or one centimeter if you like, or what would that be, a third of an inch, I think, for those of you who haven't evolved beyond the imperial system. Uh, and uh, that uh, makes for some pretty damn strong construction. And they, of course, there's a rebar here on the foundation, just like over there. You don't see it here anymore, but it's a uh, kind of meshed in between and, and like the uh, and the, of course I've also puzzled the rocks so that the uh, rebars are also kind of held very firmly in place. So um, I'm pretty sure this is not going. It took a lot more time. This takes a lot more time to go about this way. Um, but that also, you know, I like to think that it means this will last for a much longer time. <laughs> And I want this to be so strong that I can, if I want it to, not that I'm necessarily going to do it, but uh, I want to just keep the options open. So if I want to tunnel my way through here and make a room under there or under there, I can do that. Uh, yeah, I think that was pretty much all I, I had to say really on this. Uh, yeah, have a bucket with the water so I can just wash it. If, unless if you don't have uh, clean ones now I'm, I'm sure some of you might say but well, hold on you're gonna get dirt and debris in the bucket and that is going to be um, a you know you don't you know you're gonna have some organisms or something like that in the water which can cause growth and you're probably somewhat correct but it's going to be so little that once I've treated the uh, the concrete like I have done with the wall there using impregnating uh, cement specially made um, there's a name for that in English, I'm sure, but I just don't know it. Um, then the, uh, uh, the microbes are not going to have much of a chance to grow there anyways. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, 
I, I am not too concerned about that. By the time it deteriorates, uh, you know, the grandchildren of your grandchildren are likely to be long gone and maybe even humanity as a whole. So, it's, uh, and I'm not certainly not going to live that long. So, not much of a concern for me. Uh, so, yeah, oh, lovely weather today. Now I'm just going to have a break and then I'm going to proceed. I uh, really wish I had a beer on this, on such a nice day, but um, I don't. So yeah, I scavenged, well, it, might, you don't, it, might not, it doesn't show well here, but I had gravel up to here and that's what I've scavenged so far. So clearly I can do quite a lot of uh, construction before I have managed to consume this uh, part of the parking lot. Because I want where, more or less where that uh, pallet is with the concrete under the tarp. That's more or less, this part here I want away. I don't, I don't need it here anymore. It was just uh, for the crane when they came and delivered the house. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's really all there is to say. Just touring around a little bit. So use this for uh, drilling in the uh, holes in the bedrock for uh, the uh, rebars should this is a brand new one cheap but brand new should I need it I'll use that to uh, cut the um, the uh, rebars and uh, yeah the saw there I used that once upon a time to uh, cut the bricks so it's no longer usable for its nominal purposes but good enough to cut bricks and good enough to open the uh, bags of concrete so, uh, and uh, this is uh, I think it's the same brand no maybe not but um this is a hand mixer so like i make small portions at the time obviously if i were to be doing this the conventional way and uh, set up uh, boards or like planks would bas basically build a mold so i could just simply pour in a uh, it will be a lot lot quicker um and then it would be nice to perhaps have something that uh, mixes bigger amounts than this because this one takes about one bag of concrete you know, if I have a bigger, I have a bigger bucket, but I don't care to use that one. Then I will have, a, uh, then I'll be able to. I can take two, two bags of concrete, but anything more than that, and this becomes quite cumbersome. And if you're using a lot of concrete, you will be going back and forth quite a bit. But I'm uh, going about this way because I want it to be stronger, and it also saves me the concrete, which saves me money, and uh, arguably saves the. Uh, is kind of good for the environment in terms of emissions and stuff like that. Because while well, certainly there are some emissions involved when it comes to breaking up the uh, granite, much of it is uh, byproduct from roadworks because our country is like jam-packed with granite. And um, you see uh, the mountainous terrain and so forth mean, makes it so that, uh, you know, we want to do any road construction, we get a bunch of these rocks almost anywhere we go. Uh, so, uh, you know, this particular context, as, at least, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, some, I would define it as resource efficient. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Guess I'll come with an update. Yeah, I, oh yeah, 13 something minutes. That's definitely too long for an update video or something, but then again, I'm using this mostly for myself. So I guess I'll edit this if I once upon a time care to make a, a video like this, uh, you know, more concise video regarding how the construction has gone and going and whatever. Uh, because it's uh, useful to have a log like that on how you have built the house in case of something later down the line. Let's say you want to sell the house. Well, then you can document that it is made in such and such way. So, uh, yeah. Lovely, lovely day. Hope you're having a lovely day too. Bye-bye.